Welcome to CanCam CNC Machines. I'm Cameron. This is our Supernova, and today we're going to cover determining the best focal distance for your lens. So your best focal distance is going to depend on which focal lens you have installed. We have a variety of lenses available for purchase, starting from one and a half inch, all the way up to four inch, and even more than you see here in between. We're going to start off here by finding a scrap piece of material. Quarter inch plywood is really good. And then we're gonna auto focus off of that material. Our goal here is to fire a initial pulse at the focal distance that is set up with your machine. So ours is 7.0 millimeters. So we're gonna fire a first pulse and then we're going to move up a little bit and then we're gonna change our Z up a small amount, maybe aim for six and a half, 6.4 is fine. We're gonna send another pulse through and then we're gonna move up a little bit more. We're gonna raise it up a little bit more, send another pulse, move it up a little bit more raise the bed a little bit and send another pulse. And we're gonna do that, we're gonna try and do that every 0.5 millimeters. And then we're gonna go back down to our original starting pulse. We're gonna go back to seven and then add a half millimeter approximately. Make sure we're a little bit below that starting location. We're gonna send another pulse through. Then we're gonna go down, lower it approximately another half. Send another pulse and go down. Lower it another half, send another pulse. And you can continue that until you'll, you can see a pattern where your dot is getting smaller or bigger. So I've just drawn in a line at our starting point there, which was 7.0 millimeters. We have a two and a half inch lens in here. So ours was already dialed in to the perfect height setting. And you can see as we raised the bed and went with the focal lens closer to the material, each pulse got a little bit bigger. Now from our starting point, when we did the opposite, we lowered the bed and the lens got further you can also see that that focal dot got bigger as well. So that's going to be how you determine where your best focus distance is. A good trick to keep track of which height is which dot is to do a pulse and then open up the cover and write down the distance you had for that dot beside it. You can add, of course, you can separate these a little bit further so you can have some, some space to write. Um, and then each one, just yeah, write down that height for um, your distance from your focal lens. Let's say that 7.5 millimeters was your preferred focal length. We're going to go into Lightburn, click Edit, Machine Settings. It's going to read the settings and we're gonna scroll down a little bit under Miscellaneous and then Focus Distance and we're gonna change that value to 7.5 for this example. Then you're going to click right to save those settings to your machine. Make sure that your machine is connected through USB. It'll be written successfully. So then you click okay. 
and we'll test to make sure it's saved. To test our results, we're gonna do an autofocus off of that material. And then we're gonna come over to the controller and look at the Z value to verify that it's the Z value we selected in our settings. Every time you change a focal lens, we recommend that you check this test on a piece of material to determine the best focal height for that new focal lens. And that's it. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this has been Cameron with CanCam CNC Machines. And if you need any support, you can contact us at support at cancam.ca.